Despite how cheap you can pick up a PlayStation 4 these days, a console is a valuable investment. It's where you store important data, like login details, save data, full games, and more. So of course, you'd like to prevent anything bad from happening to your PS4, right? So here are 14 things to never do with the console, not even as a joke. Ejecting the disc while playing. Hey, you know what would be a great idea? If that physical disc you were playing on wasn't ejected while the game was still running. Now, we know the temptation is great and you probably want to toss that Overwatch disc across the room after a terrible match, or three, but just don't do it. You're better than that and your disc drive, game data, etc. will thank you for it. Inserting unsupported discs Don't pick up any unsupported disc and just shove it into the PS4 or Xbox One. Along with damaging your disc drive, it could make the disc unreadable as well. That's not taking into account how some unsupported discs could be a gateway to ruining your system. Not maintaining proper ventilation. When maintaining a console, one of the most important things to keep in mind is ventilation. Keep it on a generally stable foundation and ensure it receives proper ventilation. Heat generation, especially when your base console's fans are working overtime to run the latest games, is a serious issue. If a console doesn't get proper ventilation for heat dissipation, the hardware inside could suffer. Deleting everything. Data in your console is organized in many different ways. The PS4, for example, has folders, and like a computer, you don't just go deleting whatever folder you want to make space. The reasoning for this is simple. Some folders could contain DLC content, save files, etc. While it's a matter of just re-downloading, it can still be a pain to retrieve all of that missing content and saves, the latter especially if you don't have PlayStation Plus and cloud save storage. Not using a surge protector. Thunderstorms and power fluctuations. There are many other reasons to own a surge protector. It's generally recommended to use one for your console since it can prevent damage. Keep some kind of battery backup like a UPS handy as well. Suffering a power outage while your PS4 is on can be very, very bad. Unplugging while still running it. Speaking of which, don't even think about just unplugging your PS4 while it's still on. This can, at best, corrupt a game's data, and at worst, corrupt the hard disk entirely. Yes, it's worse than just losing progress in a video game. Much, much worse. Always shut down the game in question and then power down your console the traditional way. Switching it off during firmware updates. To further that point, don't unplug your console or shut it down while the system firmware is being updated. Forget your hard disk potentially getting corrupted, you could brick the entire console, preventing it from ever working again. Sure, it's one way to see if that warranty is still valid, but definitely not the best or the most sane. Keeping it on the floor. Have you ever kept your SNES or Genesis on the floor in your house when you were young and it felt fine? Well, it's generally not a good idea with today's console generation. Not only is the hardware a lot more sophisticated and more reliant on proper ventilation, but the console will attract way more dust if it's kept on the floor. Plus, you might accidentally kick it or step on it. Not properly cleaning it. Hilariously as it may seem to take a vacuum cleaner to your PS4, do not. Dust the console, especially the vents, regularly to ensure proper airflow for the fans and to prevent heating issues. Don't just throw any detergent, liquid, or other substance onto the console in the name of cleaning. It never, ever ends well. Vertical alignments without a stand. It's generally advised to not change the physical alignment of your console very often, if at all. So if you have it laying horizontally, keep it that way, especially because of better airflow. If it's vertical, make sure you at least have something to keep it in place, especially when it could fall without a stand. Settle on an alignment and keep it that way. Constantly leaving it on. It's pretty random to hear about a console's power cable melting because it was left on for too long, but it can happen. Besides the problems that overheating can cause, it's generally not advised to leave your PS4 on for very, very long periods of time. Yes, we know how important farming currency can be in Mortal Kombat 11, but try not leaving your console on overnight all of the time. Leaving it in rest mode for extended periods. Rest mode is pretty neat for immediately booting your console up in just a few seconds, charging controllers and downloading large games or updates. However, it's generally advised to not keep it on rest mode all of the time. Besides a potential power outage causing ruin, it's still consuming power. It may not seem all that bad until you get the electricity bill, of course. Leaving books and disc boxes on top. 
It may seem tempting to keep books or game disc boxes on top of your console in the name of saving space. Never do this while the console is running. You risk blocking ventilation or causing other problems. No, that coffee table book cannot go on the PS4, so stop trying to make it happen. Follow random instructions. Anytime you see anything that tells you to unlock something to improve the visuals of your console, ignore it. This will prevent your system from mucked about with nefarious individuals. And of course, never share your console or PlayStation login information with anyone you do not know and or trust. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.